Hey, yo, what's good? I'm Mob. Welcome back to Arsenal. We're going to upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, we are going to be talking about the Jordan 3 in the black cement colorway. As you guys know, this is finally the year that the sneaker comes out again. It's been about seven years since it came out. The last time it released was in 2011. And now they're finally bringing it back for Jordan's 30th year anniversary. The sneaker was first debuted by Michael Jordan during his 1987 and 1988 MVP season, as well as his 1988 All-Star Game in Chicago. After that, they retro the sneaker in 1994, 2001, 2008, and 2011. And now we're finally finally seeing it again after seven years and you guys can bet that the sneaker is going to sell out and it will have resell because it is one of the most anticipated Jordans of all time it is a super iconic sneaker so everybody's going to try to be going for it if you want to pick up your pair you can pick it up on February 17th which is also Michael Jordan's birthday for the price of $200 what I love about it more is that they're retroing the OG colorway which pretty much means that they're going to put the Nike Air logo on the heel of the shoe on the midsole of the shoe and also on the bottom of the outsole of the shoe and I feel like this is what's going to make it sell a lot because a lot of people don't like the Jumpman. They feel like the Jumpman doesn't have too much value and the Nike Air does since it is pretty much an OG and that's basically what makes it sell more and have resale value which leads me on to my next topic which is the resale on this. As of right now on GOAT, the Black Cement 3s in a size 11 and a half are going for 500 with a damaged box and for a size 14 they're going for $310. And on StockX you have the prices ranging from 400 to 450 so you guys can kind of get an idea of where it's going to be. I think the resale prices might just go down to 350 375 just because right now since they're unreleased people are paying a higher price for them and they are raising their prices but once they release they are going to go down to like i said 350 375 maybe 325 if you can find a good deal you can definitely bet that i will be getting my pair i've been waiting for this shoe forever i remember having it one time but it was a size 7 and a grade school sizes which they will be having again in this release but as i was saying i did have it in a size 7 and it just didn't feel right it didn't look right it felt worn because it was worn and i just didn't like the feel of it so i ended up just selling that sneaker i was like i'll just wait until i get the adult sizes anyway that's it for today's video and you guys know before i go i do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day does go to dylan d and one more thing before i go don't forget to join the giveaway that is in the link down in the description below all you gotta do is go ahead and click on the link follow all the entries for everything that you do you do get one entry and for every single entry you do raise your chances on getting a yeezy mask which at the end of the month which is in a few days the winner will get to choose one out of three masks that are listed there if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give a video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this year anyways guys make sure you keep grinding it's your boy sneaker signing out